2027 will see the first flight of the improved heavy class Angara A5M carrier rocket. It will launch a next generation advanced transport spacecraft, Piloterumi Transport Nicarabal Nogo Poco PTKNP, also known as ORL, into orbit in an unmanned configuration. Yuri Borisov, the head of the Russian Federal Space Agency, Roscosmos, stated during a meeting between Russian President Vladimir Putin and government officials, the first launch of this rocket in 2027 will be combined with comprehensive testing of the new spacecraft in its unmanned variant. This will also be our next Angora launch from the Vostokshny Cosmodrome. The improved RD-191M engine, which is 10% more powerful than the one in the standard Angara A5, will power the Angara A5M, he added. Roscosmos began work on the Next Generation Advanced Transport Spacecraft project to create a new generation of crewed spacecraft. Roscosmos plans to replace the aging Soyuz vehicles in service since the Soviet era with this spacecraft. Orel will provide support for missions to low Earth orbit, LEO, and beyond, which includes lunar operations. Comparable to the U.S. Orion spacecraft, Orel features a partially reusable capsule design. Orel's truncated cone shape, with a maximum diameter of 4.4 meters and a height of 3.9 meters, accommodates personnel and cargo within its internal volume of 29 cubic meters. Spacecraft configurations are intended to accommodate missions lasting up to 30 days for Earth orbit missions and up to 14 days for lunar missions, with a maximum crew size of six astronauts. Orel will be capable of conducting both piloted missions around the moon and autonomous missions in LEO. Both crewed and uncrewed flights are part of its design, and plans are underway to develop a cargo version that can carry substantial payloads. The design's reusability features will enable Orel to complete multiple missions with a maximum of 10 flights per vehicle over its anticipated operational lifetime of approximately 15 years. The new Rus-M rocket family, which is currently in development, is expected to be used to launch the spacecraft. This rocket family will improve Russia's capabilities for both crewed and uncrewed space missions. The development of Orel commenced in response to the unsuccessful collaboration between the European Space Agency and Russia on the Crew Space Transportation System, CSTS. By 2025, it was anticipated that crewed missions would start following the completion of the first test flights in 2023. However, the initial uncrewed and crewed test flights are now anticipated for 2028. The reusable design of the Orel, which incorporates several innovative features, enhances its operational efficiency and sustainability. The spacecraft uses a thermal protection system that is partially reusable. The spacecraft affixes removable ablative panels to its metal exterior to form this system. Each flight allows for the removal and replacement of these panels, which endure the most intense heat during re-entry. This design enables the metallic structure to remain unaffected and reusable for future missions. The Orel features a rocket-propelled landing system that serves as both an auxiliary propulsion mechanism and a thermal protection system. This system only activates at low altitudes, specifically approximately 10 meters above the surface, to facilitate a soft descent following the deployment of parachutes. The descent module is intended to land as a single unit, thereby streamlining the recovery and refurbishment procedures following the mission. The spacecraft is divided into three primary sections to simplify servicing and accessibility. This modular approach not only improves the spacecraft's overall reusability, but also facilitates maintenance. The design prioritizes a harmonious equilibrium between performance and reusability, guaranteeing that Orel can efficiently support a diverse array of missions while reducing the expenses associated with refurbishment and preparation for future flights. So how does Orel compare with Orion spacecraft? The United States and Russia, respectively, developed the Orion and Orel spacecraft, two significant advancements in crewed space exploration. Despite their intended missions of lunar exploration and low Earth orbit operations, both spacecraft exhibit significant differences in terms of operational capabilities, capacity, and design. Orion sets itself apart with its larger dimensions and capacity, designed to accommodate up to four astronauts for missions lasting up to 21 days in low Earth orbit. Its conical shape enables a large interior that can accommodate a variety of mission profiles and cargo. 
A robust service module equips the spacecraft with additional propulsion and power capabilities, enabling it to participate in deep space missions beyond the moon. Orion's design integrates advanced automation systems, ensuring operational efficiency and enabling the execution of more independent functions during flight. This includes automated approaches and coupling capabilities, which are indispensable for missions that involve multiple spacecraft. In contrast, the Orel is intended for missions lasting up to 30 days and can accommodate a crew of up to six astronauts. Orel stands out by its partially reusable capsule design, which prioritizes cost-effectiveness and reusability. The thermal protection system enables the spacecraft to be refurbished for subsequent missions by replacing ablative panels after each flight. Additionally, the Orel boasts a rocket-propelled landing system that facilitates gentle landings, thereby enhancing its operational flexibility. Another significant distinction lies in their propulsion systems. Orion generates substantial thrust for its missions by using a liquid propulsion system with solid rocket boosters. On the other hand, Orel powers itself with a combination of conventional rocket engines and auxiliary propulsion systems specifically designed for lunar operations. The differences reflect the distinct mission profiles intended for each spacecraft. Orion is dedicated to deep space exploration, whereas Orel is designed for both lunar missions and potential long-duration stays in low Earth orbit. In general, Orion and Orel share the common objectives of improving human spaceflight capabilities and facilitating lunar exploration. However, their unique operational features and designs underscore the divergent strategies employed by NASA and Roscosmos in the development of next-generation crewed spacecraft. Now, do you think Russia will require another spacecraft for deep space explorations like Orion does? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.